We're actually 18 or 19 years old. Um, Mike's founded the company um, really when he tried to go ahead and issue an invoice through, I think it was Excel, he saved over it, caused him a lot of pain, he got upset and decided to start a company. And so that was the, the, the genesis of FreshBooks and really an invoicing company. And from that point in time, we started out invoicing, then we moved into payments, which means how do you get paid on that invoice? Then we moved to managing expenses and integrating all your transactions from your banks. Then we moved to kind of vendor management and bill pay balance sheet management, and then we move to making sure that we can manage all the teams that you want as you're scaling your company. So all your contractors and all your, your employees, so payroll. And then finally, um, we now have an app ecosystem. So for all of our customers around the world, they go ahead and they integrate third-party applications to go ahead and accelerate their business. So very different from 19 years ago to today. We focus on SMBs, so 20 employees and fewer. There are about 550 million of them all over the world, so a very enormous TAM, uh, but also very, very um, you know, diverse in nature. So when we look at scale over the next five or 10 years, we really look at kind of three dimensions. We look at um, the, uh, the segments that we have, the channels that we have, and the markets that we have. Um, and in the segments, um, we really break it down into three large segments. Um, we call them project-based, job-based, and order-based. And on the project-based, you can think of like creative agencies, or jobs, you can think about home services. Or in order-based, you can think about someone that sells the same thing to many, many different people. So you can think about kind of internet service providers. But just within one category, like jobs, you can loo home services, and those home services could be gardeners, they could be plumbers, they could be HVAC. So there's just tons of opportunity to go ahead and expand within segments. And then also within channels. So for us, we have primarily been a um, kind of a, a, a self-serve um, marketplace where people come to our site and they sign up for our product. Well, we're doing a lot more now with accountants and with bookkeepers. And in order to go ahead and build out the products that they need, um, we need to go ahead and build things like um, flexible chart of accounts. We need to be able to close the books. We need to have audit trails. Um, and we also need to be able to allow them to go ahead and provision FreshBooks so that they can go ahead and resell FreshBooks. So channels is another investment opportunity. And then finally, markets. We do things organically, so we'll just build to product market fit. We partner, and then inorganic activity. So did an acquisition in Mexico and just did one in Germany as well. So lots of opportunity to go ahead and grow across segments, across channels, and across markets. Great thing about being in the SMB market is um, there's a lot of tailwinds, no matter what country you're in. And so tailwinds are really around a compliance. So for example, in Mexico today, an invoice is actually not even valid to be paid by the government unless someone puts a little stamp on it that says, yes, it's valid to be paid. And that's to maybe um, to maybe uh, help all those people that might not be paying all the taxes that they should be. And so now the government is requiring that and we do those kinds of things for companies in Mexico. So big, big, big tailwind on compliance around the world. Um, also the digitization, no government wants to go ahead and have all of the paperwork associated with all the tax filings. And so governments around the world are requiring all those small businesses to go ahead and hop on platforms like FreshBooks so they can go ahead and do it electronically. And then we just have some just normal growth. Like today I was reading in the paper, there's a um, an announcement that um, by Gusto, which is one of our payroll partners um, in the US. And they said that of all of the entrepreneurs um, during the pandemic, 50% were women and um, 3x um, were people of color. So just a, a huge tailwind for people that are starting new businesses um, as well. So just a lot of opportunity in Canada, but also around the world from a lot of tailwinds. We focus on those 20 employees and fewer. We call them part-timers, people that are just doing it as a side gig, full-time, they replace their job, or scaling. Maybe they're hiring some contractors or some employees to go ahead and scale their businesses. Um, these folks use us as a platform, a system of record, 
They want to get in, do what they need to do, and then get out as quickly as possible and do what they want to do, right? So the big things for us, the, the core competitive differentiators um, that we have are one, workflow, make it really simple, really intuitive. And then the second very, very large one is customer support. So when you call us, we pick up the phone, we answer the email, we solve the full problem for you, and that's very different from some of our competitors.